what constellation it is. So, do, can I connect the dots and figure it out? Yeah. Okay, so where do I go? Do I just go? So you start here. I start there? Yeah. Okay. So, let me see. Hey y'all, it's Friday, it's Friday, and I'm all off key. <laughs> so right now we're homeschooling. It's Friday, and we're to swing. Yeah, I get it, JB. So we're it's doing a swing. swing, whatever, child. All right, we are homeschooling, and right now we are making our own constellations. constellations. So, so let's just... Oh. Give me one, baby. I'll make one for you. Mm -hmm. All right, so you'll have to guess what it is. So earlier today, we did descriptive words uh, to uh, help with writing. Uh, Go ahead, darling. All right, so let me see. Ahead. Oh, let me let me do it with a, oh, I can't do it with, I have to do it with a marker, right? Okay, let me think of something. Oh, I can do something that's on the table. Uh, let me see. It's gonna be easy. You will see about that. Can I have three guesses? Um, um, I don't know. Okay, what make you think I don't know? It's a candle. You think it's a candle? Yeah. Uh, okay, you connect it. All right. That's my constellation. You connect it. Uh, it's definitely a candle. Guys, what do you guys think? <laughs> looks like a candle, man. Oh, it's this. Hell, child. <laughs> it is that. It connect the dots. Do you, you knew exactly what it was? Did it really cover you a pumpkin today? Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> you know what? I think pumpkin seeds are good for something. I'm gonna I'm gonna save these pumpkin seeds. Child, I may be able to make me a um. Like a pumpkin seed mask or something. What now? A, a pumpkin seed face mask or something, child. Oh, a hair mask, like a deep conditioner. I, I, I want to do it. You want to do it? Yeah. It's kind of heavy, though. Here, I'll hold it while you break it out, okay? Ooh. Oh, God, it stinks. Yeah, I know. I know. When I saw it at school, it, it, I was like, what the heck? It stinks. Yeah, and it stinks. The other, and the other teacher was like, it smells good. What the crap is you? Alright. Alright. Let's grab a candy. Is that it? Yeah. So we can put a candle. Let's, look, let's put a candle. I don't know what I'm putting no candle in that, child. Well, Mm. I'm mm. supposed to put this up under my stuff. I'm trying to find it, but I can't. Trying to find what, baby? Where are those? Are those quails? Oh, you painted a pumpkin. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I have a lot more to do though. Oh, Lord. Oh, sorry, I wasn't even looking at you. I got this from the Dollar Tree, y'all. I do this, I purchase, let me turn this TV down. I purchase stuff in advance from the Dollar Tree, little crafts stuff. Um, so yeah. next, now I'm, now I'm gonna close that. Okay. It's so cute. I mean, I can't close those cheeks. Oh, oh, close up of the cheeks. Close up of the cheeks. <laughs> oh, God. The whole family, the grandparents, the dog, the bike. Child. I'm out for half me. I don't know what they're doing. These people treat Halloween like it's a major day. God, how are they? We just treating it like it's another weekend for us. Besides me wearing makeup. Come on, get me some oil. Huh? What, Jamie? I'm, I'm tired right now. You're tired? So I won't get it. But I want your house. Hey, you guys, this is that one dress. Let me turn this off. 
Yes, girl, waist looks snatched, doesn't she? Y'all, my waist is a lot smaller up here anyway. Um, so yeah, this is a dress I got from a ASOS. I'm not wearing a bra because, yeah. So it's really cute. I'm going to do another angle. Let me step back some. The sleeves. Yes, come through. I need to work on this right here. But besides that, this is a really, really cute, really cute dress. Hey, you guys. I have to be quiet, girl, because, of course, it's early in the morning here. So, it is the first week of November. Girl, this week is going, this year is going by that. Yes, girl. What the hell was that? Oh. The camera is sitting on JB's toy. Oh, look at my skin y'all i'm not even doing my regimen i need to get it together so um i need to push out as much work today jb is going to child care we did a little bit of homeschooling yesterday i'm sorry y'all you don't stop we did a little bit of homeschooling yesterday we'll be doing double digit addition using this um and we'll probably read a book and then I'm off Wednesday through Friday where I'm on call. I'm not even going to get into that. I'm on call because there's no coverage. So basically, if anything comes in, I have to jump on and work. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely go in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with homeschooling. And then I'm going to take him to the park on Thursday because a huge homeschooling group is meeting up. Anyway, y'all, it is... Tuesday is a Tuesday and when I tell you anxiety levels are high because of this election oh baby and it is crazy out here in Phoenix I mean we see in these we are seeing a lot of the huge Trump trucks excuse me the people with their trucks and all their flags and their blue lives matter flag where were we we were in Scottsdale over the weekend going to go pick up a pickup order and there were like a hundred people out, you know, Trump supporters at their own little rally at an intersection with their flags. There was a, co a couple of Confederate flags waving. And I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. A lot of them didn't have no mask on. So anyway, yeah, so I got a lot of work to do today. I have a lot of meetings. I have meetings all day today. So Dave, JB is going to be going to child care. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, y'all, I did have a vlog up. Let me just say this real quick because I don't want to talk about it anymore. I did have a vlog up, um, for what occurred last week, but I deleted it. It was way too disturbing, in my opinion, way too sad. So, there was a domestic violence incident that occurred here last week in our neighborhood. Um, we heard their helicopters the night before. We were hearing rumors of what happened, but we weren't so sure. The next day, just through social media and people texted me, I found out that it was a family that we know. So the father ended up killing the mother, the 13 year old boy, and the cops, sorry y'all, the cops ended up shooting him because they thought he had a gun on him. They have an 11 year old girl who survived, who is now with the grandmother when I tell you that that shook us, the entire neighborhood. But um, we knew the kids. I mean, we know the family. And definitely the kids. They were the first kids in the neighborhood that we, we knew, that we were introduced to. They were like five and seven at the time. Absolutely good kids, especially the boy. Sweetheart. Just a good, solid kid. And the reason why, I, well, we were also shaken about it. I'm not just going to be selfish and say me. Um, I just saw those kids. I just saw the little girl three days before. And then I had spoken with the boy around May. He's such a sweetheart. He got up and spoke to me. So I had to delete the last vlog because I it was... I was literally filming in the middle of hearing the news and I was a mess. Rightfully so, I was a mess. So that's what happened and we're praying for the family. But let me tell you what happened yesterday because it, it spooked the hell out of me. We were going to the park and unfortunately to, one of the ways to get to the park, you walk by their house because they live right around the corner, right? 
So JB and I walk into the park and we notice the doors are open at their house and we're like, what the hell's going on? Again, the grandmother has the child, the, the youngest child, 11 year old girl, right? And I see shadows in the house and it's, it's her, it's the little girl. But so I just, I stopped staring cause I didn't want her to see me. Um, and I know they don't, you know, this stuff just happened two weeks ago, basically. So I just keep walking and then as we're still going down, JB's getting really quiet and I'm like, okay, JB, I want to turn around. I don't want to be here. I want to turn around. I want to go home. So he's like, okay. So JB at first, JB said, well, let's go the other way around. Well, the other way around is longer to get home. I just wanted to get home fast. I said, no, let's just go back up this way. Out of the mouths of babes, I should have listened to him. So we went back up and so that's when JB saw them. Y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> JB saw them. That's all he's all he could see. So he was a little nervous. He was like, "What's going on?" I said, "I think this is the grandmother and aunt, and her name is Aubrey. The grandmother and Aubrey in the house, probably gathering some stuff." So we girl, we walked fast up that house, up to the, up the road. Got home, and so I looked at JB because he was real quiet. I said, "Are you okay, baby?" He's like, "Yeah, but I felt cold." I said, "What do you mean you felt cold? What do you?" Are you sad? He's like, no, I'm not sad. I just felt like, what did he say? He started touching his neck. He said, I felt, it felt like dry ice in the back of my neck. I'm like, oh, what the hell? What the hell was he feeling, y'all? So I asked him, I said, so are you, or were you afraid? He's like, no, I'm not afraid, but I never felt that way before. He just kept saying he felt cold. He felt dry eyes and he didn't know. I mean, he's only seven years old. He doesn't know how to explain it, but he just felt coldness. Y'all, he probably, I don't know if he felt the evilness from the father or what, because some people are telling me that the father changed clearly. He, and the, anyway, so my baby felt something. So I said, we're never going over there again. We can go to the park the long way. Anyway, y'all. So on to, you know, try to lighten up the mood of the video. So yeah, today I have a couple of things to do at work. It's four o'clock here, girl. Um, and then tomorrow, girl, I need to do this hair. Y'all, look, it's gotten to the point my hair is so, I cannot sleep without a bonnet. I have a hard time sleeping because the hair be, the hair be getting in my face, hair be getting in my mouth. My hair be attacking me while I'm asleep, child. So no, I can't be doing my, I can't be sleeping without a bonnet anymore. It's not happening. So y'all, y'all, we're not doing much of anything. Um, I want to wait and see who the hell wins this election. I know y'all want to know too. Oh child, it's just, yeah. So, all right, y'all, let me end it here. And then I'll probably turn the camera back on when we go to the park, okay? You should do the off-brand one first. Okay. I'm going to do the No! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> ready to cook me something something I'm getting ready to make some um turkey nachos let me put my bonnet on y'all hold on look I don't play with food being uh, hair being in my food so I like to put my hair up when I am cooking and right now it's a little wet so I like to put this bonnet on the reason why it is quiet first of all it's three o'clock and the reason why it's quiet is because JB um my neighbor asked me if JB could come over. Um, we went we went to go visit Miss Lori yesterday for the first time since, I mean, I've seen her, but when I tell y'all we don't be going anywhere, or y'all, we go out, of course, and we've done some indoor playgrounds maybe like once a month, but going over people's houses, we've been like, hell no, and it needs to be someone we definitely know has been seeing their butts inside. So Miss Lori, since literally half the house is um, high risk, they've been staying inside since March, 
and her um who is it her granddaughter does not go to school she's home she homeschooled too like jb and so went over yesterday we had our mask on social distancing and they had such a good time that she texted me an hour ago was like can jb come over for an hour i said well i can't come over but i can drop him off with a mask and they have to be outside playing and she's like okay that's fine so that's what they did why am i clapping baby black black people are always clapping or doing something extra y'all my state passed prop 207 which makes um marijuana marijuana legal in our state now truth be told where's my garlic hold on let me get my red onion truth be told i qualify for i could qualify for a medical 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 marijuana card anyway i mean yeah <laughs> um but i'm like do i want to pay 300 dollars? i mean i had it on my to-do list to get y'all hold on i got my garlic now don't play with me so y'all probably didn't even see me i'm sorry i had it on my to-do list to get my medical marijuana cart last year due to i suffer with um pain chronic pain um and it, it helps of course with anxiety and just overall i'm ecstatic that they have um pass this because when i tell you i would definitely see myself getting off at least two of my medications now, i know it's gonna be a long journey to figure out what good lord y'all there's so many different types my best friend was telling me that i should definitely try the tch oil called rick simpson i believe is what it's called um for anxiety she said it's 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 very potent so you got to be careful one girl said I'm in a CBD oil Facebook group, y'all. <laughs> One woman said she had just a little bit, now a little bit of this Rick Simpson oil, and she woke up and kept telling her husband, asking her husband, why was there a pig running back and forth in the front of their bed? Child, it turns out to be a pillow. She was that high. I don't want to be like that. I just want something to calm my nerves and to hump my legs, y'all. I have, I have, um restless legs i basically restless leg syndrome but that's an underlying symptom and so yeah i'm like yeah i gotta get something to help all of that um i am taking through lazarus naturals and this is what's helping me a lot right now i take their cbd tincture tincture high potency and i'll be linking everything below in the description box i know y'all really can't see this um, this is CBD oil, um, and then I have their Lazarus Natural CBD capsules, okay? So, these, I haven't combined them together. I'm just trying the um, oil itself, and I take 0.25 mils in the morning and uh, two or three drops in the afternoon. And, like, my anxiety is cool. I'm good right now with all of that, so yeah y'all so child the the this dang on look this stuff is crazy y'all this election um i'm seeing that the numbers are so close i'm like when the hell are they gonna get these these numbers together my bible i need to get all into this um all right y'all i'm gonna start let me wash my hands again i know i did but um it's just it's gonna be really really interesting <clears throat> to see how this election is going to turn out but whatever happens just know that god is in control yo girl we don't know what's going on we don't know what's going to happen so look y'all where's my taco seasoning didn't even get your life together um i started to watch a movie on netflix called his house Girl, that is some scary, look, I don't do like, I don't care, I don't do like the, the shamans or, or the witches or, I don't do that. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to keep watching it. Um, and it has the, the beautiful chocolate sister from, what is the show that I'm too scared to watch too? Y'all, I'm such a scaredy cat. Uh, I really am a scaredy cat, y'all. JB be laughing at me when I be revealing to him all the stuff I'm afraid of. Um, 
Girl, Lovecraft Country. The sister from Lovecraft Crap Country, the chocolate plus size diva. She's in it, and um, she's a beautiful woman. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. I was getting scared. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. Girl, you wanna open up this. Why did I cut this and all you had to do was unzip it? Vivian, maybe you shouldn't have no line, hell. So y'all, speaking of Lovecraft Country, you know how, based on your previous searches on YouTube, um, you get recommendations for other videos, right? Well, I got a recommendation for, I guess it's the daughter of Hop, Hippa, 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 whatever. I'm so sorry, y'all. Hippolyta, Hippolyta, excuse my language, Hippolyta. And so it was, the video was something like, um, Bobsy and Topsy. I watched a full video. This was on YouTube. So I'm watching it, right? And I'm seeing, you know, these a little girl in the back coming up with her hair. And I'm like, oh, her hair's kind of cute. Then her ass turns around. I'm like, oh, hell no. What the? What the? Hey, y'all. It is Friday. Um, and we're waiting in line at, oh, sorry. It's Friday. And I'm ready to swing. So we're waiting in line at Dunkin' Donuts before we have to go to my dentist appointment. I don't know if we're gonna make it, JB, because my dentist appointment starts in 15 minutes and there's probably about 15 cars in front of us. Exactly, so 15 minutes equals 15 cars, so we're fine. No, we've been in here. We've been waiting in line for two minutes. Now, y'all, it's fine. I thought the line wrapped all the way around. There's literally only like five cars in front of us, so we okay. And the dentist is just right behind us. I'm just getting my teeth cleaned. I did have on the schedule to get two fillings, but I'm like, nah, we ain't gonna do that. Um, so, y'all. <laughs> Oh child, I know this is TMI, but when I tell you I am crampy, like started my cycle yesterday and I am, as soon as we get, the only thing I have going on today is to um, the dentist appointment and you know, I have to pick up a few groceries and stuff. Is there a grocery store behind us? Child. I don't know y'all this area has uh, built has really really um, grown so anyway I know I'm all over the place but yeah as soon as I get home I'm gonna get me a um, I think I have a warm water bottle and put it on my abdomen and lay down because I am not feeling good at all um, girl they still tallying up these elections election votes I'm like get it over with child so Oh, yeah, the line is right here. Now there's only three people in front of me, so that's okay. That's okay. I'm not getting anything, but, but I'll just get you, um, what do you want, donuts or donut holes? All right, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later.